As we reflect on the events in Washington, D.C. lately, I can't help but consider them in stark contrast to some of the historic events at our Capitol, like the march in Washington, D.C. in 1963, when Dr. King delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech. Throughout time, man has struggled against original sin and human nature. The results from war and slavery to racism, prejudice, and crime can be seen all around us, embedded in our history and in the history of every nation and every time permanent reminders of our failings. In this country, black, indigenous, and people of color have been among those who have suffered the most. But time and again, we have seen examples set by leaders that the way forward for change through peace, not violence, riots, or destruction. Perhaps this country's most famous such leader was Dr. King. Arrest, prison, violence, and the constant threat of death couldn't deter him. He stood firm, never setting aside the goal of improving this nation, for all through nonviolent protest. Building a more perfect nation, not tearing one down, was his goal. There is no doubt his example continues to inspire. But Dr. King, like others before and others since, was murdered for his work, for calling our nation to task for promises not kept and standing up for the basic human rights and seeking to improve the lives of all people, he lost his own life. So it's right that we should reflect, remember, celebrate, and take inspiration from the work of Martin Luther King, Jr. Indeed, we are all better for it. 